not using your lifelines. Classic Who Wants to Be a Millionaire is here at five, then at six it's a mad dash around the crystal maze, but first could you beat the Bond game on the People Versus? Welcome to The People Versus, the show where you at home set the questions that could net you up to £1,000. Right, let's meet today's first contestant. And it's Anne Brooke from Sandon near Stafford. Welcome, Anne. Thank you. You're um, a housemaid to the aristocracy. I am. Not all of them, I hope. No, just one. Just one. You'd be <laughs> one very member. <laughs> be very busy otherwise. Yes. Well, listen, there's more than one way to come into money, and I do hope that the people versus is your way of coming into money today. Shall we get cracking? There's money waiting. Thank you. That's fine. Let me explain the rules. We've got five rounds of questions. You've got four minutes to complete them, and if you do that, then you've got £3,000 in the bank. And then you get the chance to start all over again and set yourself on the road to riches. Now, if you're stuck on any question, then you can pass, or you can use one of your three flips, so you can swap the general knowledge question for one from your specialist subject, which is Mary, Queen of Scots. Close to my own heart, that one. <laughs> now, you need one correct answer from the five in round one. Are you clear on the rules? Yes, I think so. Thank you. Well, let's play. This is The People versus Anne Brooke. What is the main ingredient of guacamole? Pass. Avocado is your answer. Which part of the body is affected by astigmatism? The eyes. The eyes, correct. <laughs> aye, aye, Anne. You're through <laughs> round one. Well done. <laughs> Bet you feel better about that. I do, yeah. One hundred pounds in the bank you have there. You did pass once, but you still managed to complete the round very quickly. You've got three minutes forty-nine left on the clock, and you haven't used any of your flips, so you're in a strong position. Are you ready to play round two? Yes. Good. Let's go. Who played the Sundance Kid in the film Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid? Pass. Robert Redford. Darcy Bustle is a leading name in which branch of the arts? Ballet. Valley, it is indeed. We've got one more correct answer. What was the name of the woodpecker in the children's TV series Bagpuss? Pass. Professor Yaffle. After the departure of Gianluca Viali, who became manager of Chelsea Football Club? Pass. Claudio Ranieri is the answer. <laughs> um, who was the second person to set foot on the moon? You're still looking for one more correct answer. You don't have any passes. Buzz left. Aldrin. Buzz Aldrin's correct. Well done, Anne. You're through round two. Thank you. A little bit of a, <laughs> a <laughs> ruffle there, but never mind. You're through. That's the important thing. You're on £250 now, and you've still got three minutes and six uh, seconds on the clock, and still haven't used any of your flips. A couple of those questions through you. Now, don't blame me. I don't set the questions. It's the viewers out there. <laughs> but let's see what they've got in store for you in round three. Are you happy to go for £500? Yes, please. Yes. OK, let's do it. Specifically, what is the largest fish in the world's oceans? Pass. The whale shark. Which football league's team's home ground is the Reebok Stadium on Burnden Way? Pass. Bolton Wanderers. In which year was John Paul II elected Pope? Now you've no more passes, but you do have three flips. You're going to flip. 1978 was the answer. Here's your specialist subject. At which castle was Mary, Queen of Scots, executed? Fotheringhay in Northamptonshire. Fotheringhay is absolutely right. Well done. Looking for two more correct answers. What is Ozzy Osbourne's real first name? Pass. You have no more passes, I'm afraid, Anne. You'd have to flip. Flip. OK. John's the answer. In which month in 1542 was Mary born? Mary Queen Scots, of course. You're against the clock here, Anne. We're January. Two minutes. J January. January. I'm terribly sorry, Anne. The correct answer is December. 
Well, and you were very close there. It was uh, Mike Woodall from Shropshire who forced you to flip with his question about what was Ozzy Osbourne's real name, which was John, and you didn't get that one. Um, so, Mike, are you there on the line? Yes, I am. Mike, you are £100 richer. Oh, wonderful. Thank you. You caught out poor Anne on your pop question there. It's not her favourite subject. Well, that's um, a great shame, and I'm sorry to have done this to her, but <laughs> oh. also, you'll appreciate I'm a bit delighted as well. Well, yes, yeah, so that was very gracious of you, Mike, very gracious. Well, listen, hold on the line, because you actually could be in for even more cash. Some more? You even more, yes, this is the kind of show it is, because Anne actually had £250, and uh, we are now going to ask you, Anne, to see if you can beat the bong and see if you can try and take some of that £250 home. If not, then Mike's in for a wee windfall here. Basically, in beating the bong, you are going to hear a voice counting up to £250. At some point in there, there will be a bong. What you have to do is stop the voice before you hear that bong. And if you do that, you get the money that's on the screen, and then Mike gets the rest. If you don't manage to beat the bong, then Mike comes in for your £250. Now, if you'd like to pick up your button there, the little red button, that's how you stop the voice. So as soon as your bottle goes, basically press that button. Um, now, I can give you a choice of three games, one, two and three. One of them, let me tell you, doesn't have a bong at all. So it goes all the way to 250. If you choose that and your nerve holds, then you could scoop the lot. OK? Fine. Which one would you like to choose? Number three, please. Number three. OK. Best of luck, Anne. Thank Let's you. try and beat the bong. Seven pounds. Seventeen pounds. Seventy-eight pounds. Seventy-nine pounds. Ninety-nine pounds. One hundred and twenty pounds. One hundred and twenty-three pounds. One hundred and eighty-three pounds. You've beaten the bong, Anne. Well done. That's an <laughs> achievement. One hundred and eighty-three pounds you stopped it at. Was that the figure that you had in your head? Yes, about 180, yes. OK, well, you're going home with £183 at least, of course. The rest of that goes to Mike, um, and so he manages to mm. get um, £67 in addition to the 100 he's already got. So, Mike, £167. Wonderful. That's not bad for two minutes' work, is it? It's not bad at all, and thank you, Anne. <laughs> <laughs> Keep those questions coming in, Mike. Thanks very much. I will. OK. Anne, would you like to find out how far you could have gone? I think we'll have to find out, won't we? Where would that bong have stopped? There was 193, 199, 213, 218, 219, 250. You'd chosen the one that had gone all the way, Anne. Oh, no. If you'd stuck with it, you would have got all your money, but I'm sure you're <laughs> delighted to I go am. home with the money that Thank you, you do have. Well, Anne, you've got yourself £183, and you did beat the bong which is a, a sterling achievement. <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed being in the show. We've certainly great. enjoyed having no, you here. We've got another contestant waiting in the wings. So can I say, Anne, thank you very, very much. We're going to take a break. Join us in a couple of minutes to meet a new contestant on The People Versus. Welcome back to The People Versus, where it's time for a new contestant to go five rounds with the nation. And stepping up to the seat is Alan Lorimer Riley from Bangor. Hello there, Alan. Hello. Now, you're a guest house owner and a minister. Amongst other things. Amongst other things. <laughs> <laughs> so you're a man of the cloth and the tablecloth. Let's see if you can put some bread on the table. That would be nice. I'm sure you know the rules of uh, The People Versus by now. The more money you can win, the more questions you have to answer. If you get stuck on any question, then you can pass. Or you can use one of your three flips from your specialist subject, which, not surprisingly, is the New Testament, Alan. I better not get any of those wrong. You better not get any of these wrong. <laughs> you need one correct answer in uh, round one, one out of five. Are you happy to play? Yes. OK, let's do it. It's The People versus Alan Lorimer Riley. Which character did Dave Prowse play in the first three Star Wars films? Darth Vader. Absolutely correct. 
Well done, Alan. Fantastic. You're through round one. No problems at all. You were so quick, I don't think the clock barely registered. <laughs> You've got £100. You've still got 3 minutes 55 on the clock and you haven't used any of your flips at all. So, can I assume you'd like to head off into round two? Might as well. Might as well. <laughs> 250 quid. Let's go for it. Round two. Which English monarch was the first king of both England and Scotland? Uh, James I of England, 6th of Scotland. Absolutely correct. Well done. Jerry Halliwell's hit, It's Raining Men, features on the soundtrack of which film? Bridget Jones' Diary. You're right again. Two out of two. Simple as that. Well done. The people aren't causing you any problems at all, are I'm they? Sure, I'm sure there will be some. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're doing phenomenally well so far. You've got £250. You've still got 3 minutes 30 on the clock. And you haven't used any of your flips. Now, in round three, you have to get three out of five to stay alive. But you can win yourself £500. Are we going to go for it? Yeah. Good. OK, round three. Sticky Fingers and Voodoo Lounge are albums by which band? The Rolling Stones. That's correct. What is the county town of Essex? Chelmsford. Chelmsford's correct. Who wrote the book The Silence of the Lambs? I'll pass on that one. OK, Thomas Harris is the answer. In which US state would you find Disneyland? Disneyland. Just to give her one more correct answer. California. California's correct. Well done, Alan. Three out of three. And you've got £500. Now, notice that you've got a real breadth of knowledge, haven't you? Lots of those questions came from all different areas. Didn't seem to give yeah. you any great problems apart from one. Is there any subject you really don't fancy? I'll tell you if they come up. <laughs> <laughs> You're not going to give the viewers oh, any no. clues, no, are no you? Clues Very at wise. All. <laughs> OK, you have got £500. You've made your way through round three successfully. Uh, you've still got three minutes and four seconds on the clock, which is terrific. And you haven't used any of your flips. So in round four, tension mounts. You've got to get four out of five to stay alive. Uh, but you can win yourself £1,000. Sounds good. Let's go. Mm -hmm. Good. OK. Where in the human body would you find the cochlea? Pass. OK, ear is the answer to that. Where in the galaxy would you find the sea of tranquility? On the moon. On the moon is correct. Which Scottish castle was the childhood home of the Queen Mother? Glams. Glams is correct. Two to go. Who wrote the long-running West End stage play, The Mousetrap? Agatha Christie. Agatha Christie is correct. In which Italian city would you find Marco Polo Airport? Venice. Venice is correct. Four out of four. Alan, you are toying with the people at home. <laughs> You're very, very good, aren't you? Goodness gracious. Right, you've zoomed through round four. You've now got £1,000, a grand in your hand, isn't that lovely? Uh, you've got 2 minutes 25 on the clock and you haven't used any of your flips. So I'm going to assume here that you're going to go for 5 out of 5, £3,000 to yes, go all the way go. around. Tell me, what would you do with untold riches? <laughs> well, a nice holiday and get the car serviced. And... Yeah. Take my wife somewhere nice. Oh, Alan, I was really hoping that a minister would say booze and birds. <laughs> <laughs> but you're not going to go for that. Well, I, w I won't give the game away. <laughs> you don't have to tell me. Anyway, let's get the money in the bag before we start talking about how Indeed. we're going to spend it. Um, you need five out of five in round five, so there are no passes, but you do have your three flips. So shall we take the first question? Yeah. OK. What was Alvin Stardust's first UK number one single? I'll flip that one. You'll flip that one. Uh, Jealous Mind is the answer. Question from the New Testament. What is the last book of the New Testament? Revelation. That's absolutely correct. In which sport did Neil Adams win Olympic medals? Judo. Judo is correct. What is the capital of Mongolia? Ulan Bator. Well pronounced, that's right. You're looking for another two. In the film Die Hard, what was Bruce Willis's character called? John McClane. John McClane, that's absolutely right. One more. 
In which year did Queen Elizabeth II celebrate her sober jubilee? The year my daughter was born, 1977. 1977, five out of five, good man. Alan, you're our first contestant to loop the loop. Congratulations. You have now got £3,000 guaranteed. It's in the bank. Nobody can touch it, except perhaps your daughter, <laughs> because it was her date of birth that managed to give you the, the answer to that I'm last sure she'll question. she'll want some of it. <laughs> yes, she'll want some of it, yeah, I'm sure. student loan. And I believe it's cream cakes all round, is that right? Indeed, cream cakes all round at work, yes. Right, OK, then. <laughs> well, I think you'll have quite a lot of change out of a few cream cakes. Don't worry about that. <laughs> Are you ready to start all over again? Why not? Why not? Well, you've got three new flips, you've got four new minutes, and you could have £3,000, another £3,000. So, let's start again at round one. You need one from five to stay alive. Which composer is said to have been poisoned by his great rival, Salieri? Mozart. Correct. Absolutely right, you're through round one once again, so it's another £100 in the bank. And you took only five seconds, so you've got three minutes and 55 on the clock and you haven't used any of your flips. Let's go for round two, shall we? In which range of hills does the River Thames rise? Pass on that one. You're going to pass. It's the Cotswold Hills. What is the capital of Norway? Oslo. Oslo's correct. We have one more. Who played Princess Leia in the film Star Wars? Harry Fisher. Harry Fisher's correct. Excellent. You're through round two, Alan. Well done. I think the people out there better start thinking up some killer questions because we've got a big hitter on our hands here. Uh, you're through round two. You've got £250. There, you've got three minutes 34 on the clock and still got all your flips. Do you want to go into round three, Alan? Might as well. I Get thought you would. It. OK, let's do it. Who was US president during the Cuban Missile Crisis? John F. Kennedy. It was indeed. Which acid has the formula HNO3? Nitric acid. It's correct. In which country was the composer Gustav Holst born? England. England's correct. Three out of three, easy as that. Well done, Alan. You've got another £500 sitting there, and you've still got three minutes and 12 seconds on the clock, and you haven't used that flip. Now, Alan, there's something I must ask you. How many jobs have you actually got? Because you told me you're a minister, a guest house owner. You're stuck in a restaurant. What else do you get up to? Um, well, I work in a, a shop at a holiday park in North Wales, organising their stop control system. Why do you work so hard, Alan? Just to uh, <laughs> overcome the effects of foot and mouth, basically, and keep some money all coming right. in. All right, OK. Because we've been very well, badly hit in North Wales. OK, well, we could all do with a bit of extra money. And uh, it looks, Alan, as if you're on your way to earning quite a bit. Um, we are going to have to end the show now, but you're very much going to stick with us. Uh, you've completed round three. You've got £3,000 guaranteed, plus £500 in play. Um, I'm assuming that you want to go on and Please. tackle round four. I'm sure you do. And so I very much look forward to seeing you on the next edition of The People Versus Alan. Until next time, from Alan and myself, goodbye.